Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we begin this day by celebrating the Holy Eucharist this morning, declaring that every time of this day belongs to Jesus. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as she, as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. For God did not destine us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or sleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up as indeed you do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord and in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord. This I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Kain mo po na kikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, allelu, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing any harm. 
they were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power, he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading, we come to the part of the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians addressing a concern of the Thessalonians. And we see here that the Thessalonians were concerned about times and seasons. No? The, the beginning of the, the first reading tells us concerning times and seasons, dear brothers and sisters, why, I, why are they concerned about times and seasons? Because the Christians in Thessalonica were asking St. Paul, when will the Lord come back when will the lord come again they want to be sure of the time of the season of the coming again of jesus but saint paul reminds them my dear brothers and sisters in thessalonica concerning times and seasons you have no need for anything to be written to you, he said, because you are children of light. We are children of day. Meaning that every day, every time, every season belongs to Jesus. You do not need to write, when will Jesus come? When will Jesus be present? As Christians, he said, we live every day when Jesus is present with us. We live every day believing that Jesus is present every day, every time, every season. That is why St. Paul said, whether we are awake or asleep, whether it is night, whether it is day, we live as Christians. We live as Jesus is present in us. Kaya mga minamahal na kapatid, napakagandang paalala po ito ng ating uh, Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating lahat. Sa pamamagitan ng unang pagbasa natin sa sulat ni San Pablo sa mga taga Thessalonica na lahat ng oras, lahat ng panahon, bawat segundo, bawat araw ng ating buhay, ang Panginoon ay nariyan kasama natin. Sabi ni San Pablo, hindi nyo na kailangang isulat kailan ba darating ang Panginoon, kailan ba natin kapiling ang Panginoon, sapagkat bilang mga Kristiyano, tayo ay nabubuhay nakapiling natin ng Panginoon araw-araw. So, even if there are times that we feel we are in darkness, even if there are times that we feel that we are being challenged, let us not think even, at, even for one second that God is not in charge that God is not there. St. Paul reminds them, even if you are asleep, even if it is night time, God is there. God is in charge. Kaya mali po nasasabihin natin na mayroong mga season 
na malas. No? May mga ganyan tayo, no? Ah, itong season na ito, malas itong panahon na ito, no? Ah, itong panahon na ito, ah, itong buwan na ito ay ah, ah, ito yung mga panahon na buhay na buhay ang uh, ang evil spirits. As if we are telling God that during this month, He is not powerful. That during this day, God is not powerful. That during this time, the evil is powerful than God. St. Paul is correcting that. He is teaching us every time, every second, every minute, every day, every month, every season belongs to God. And Jesus is present in every moment of our life. So even if you are undergoing a darkness in your life, it is still radiant because Jesus is there to light our way. That is why in our gospel passage today, we see the story of the healing of a man uh, being possessed by an unclean demonic spirit. And we see in the dialogue of the demon that the demon itself recognizes Jesus. He said, I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. The devil recognizes that he has no power over Jesus. That is why when Jesus commanded him to come out of the man, he immediately came out. You see? Even the devil recognizes that God, that Jesus, is more powerful than anyone in this world. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, it is good that we recognize the power of Jesus every day, every minute, every month, every season of our lives. There are no seasons that the devil becomes more powerful than Jesus. No. Every season, God is there. Every minute, Jesus is powerful. And so today, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us proclaim the power and the goodness of God in our life. Whether we are asleep, whether we are awake, whether we feel blessed, whether we feel down and challenged with trials and problems, let us always proclaim that God is in charge, that God is more powerful. Amen. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. And for every petition, let us say, Holy One of God, bless us. Holy One of God, bless us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy, Holy One, One of, of God, God, bless us. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy, Holy One, One of God, God bless, bless us that we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy, Holy One, One of, of God, God, bless us. That the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their bodily or spiritual afflictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy, Holy One, One of God, God Bless, bless us, us 
that the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy One of God, bless us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinaglihingwan ang sana Pusong dalis ay nakila Maria, ina ng awan